Today I want to talk about a muscle in your neck that really affects your TOS symptoms and neck pain and it affects your sleeping greatly because your neck can't relax properly and that's the sternocleidomastoid muscle which attaches to the mastoid at the back of your head here and it's got two heads, one attaches to your sternum, one attaches to the clavicle and therefore that's why it's got that name sternocleidomastoid and this muscle is quite protruding, you can feel it when you turn your head, it's the muscle that pops out, it helps with the rotation of the head. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you some tips just to use some trigger point therapy just to ease your symptoms and it can actually help you in the long term with your neck pain and your TOS because it helps relax the, the area which in turn relaxes the scalene muscles and it can drop that rib slightly and ease some pressure. So because there's a lot of nerve endings here and you've got arteries and that sensitive scalene muscle, you don't want to be massaging crazy hard and getting flare ups, you want to go very gently and slowly, just feel how it feels, start off very lightly and then rest the day and do it every other day and feel how you build up and slowly, slowly that muscle will relax and when you're sleeping at night you'll feel that that muscle relaxes and you'll get a better night's sleep. So to do trigger point therapy on the sternocleidomastoid, you want to turn your head and you want to feel where it protrudes. Now it pops out quite a bit in some people, other people don't have it, so what you can do is push against your hand and as you're pushing it pops out quite a bit more and you can get your, your fingers around that muscle. So once you've got it in that position you want to remember to turn your head back because it's, it's extended now and you're not going to get a nice feel, you're going to feel all weird if you squeeze it from here. So you want to squeeze very gently, work all the way down into the clavicle where it attaches to the clavicle and press it in there. Hold each squeeze for about 20 to 30 seconds very lightly and you're going to get some feedback. You'll get some pain referral and you'll get some um, jumping of the muscle because that's the nerve sending signals and that's a good sign because that's getting more, in, more blood flow into the area, sending signals and that muscle is going to heal and function properly. So once you've got that muscle, we're working it all the way down, all the way up and you want to hold each little section. You want to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. If it's too soft, squeeze a little bit harder, feel how it feels. It doesn't feel too good, so ease up your grip, squeeze a bit softer and just move up another 20 seconds, up, all the way up and down and just remember to keep your head forward while you're squeezing and just keep it very light. You really don't want to get a flare up by going too hard and holding, the, holding it for too long and then you're going to feel weird the next day and have a flare up. So just take it slow, do both sides so that you get even muscle distribution when everything's easing up and your neck functions properly, you can rotate it both sides. And doing this every other day is going to start slowly getting that muscle memory back into your, into your neck and the muscles are going to relax, the scalenes are going to in turn relax and that's going to drop your lower and lower the, the top rib a little bit and ease up all that compression that you're having if you have TOS. If you're just suffering with general neck pain, this can also help you because you probably have limited range of motion and these muscles, because they're so long and connect so far, um, when they tighten stiff, you're going to have a stiff neck, you, you can have headaches, tension headaches and doing this just eases up that neck, eases up the muscles, gets all your, your muscles relaxed and not only going to function better, but you're going to have less symptoms day to day. So give this a try. If you have any other questions, just let me know, comment below. Please subscribe so that you can get the latest videos and I'll see you guys soon.